In the vast silence of space, even the smallest change can rewrite everything we think we know. Two nights ago, something happened that sent shock waves through every major observatory on Earth. The interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, a mysterious traveler from beyond our solar system, suddenly brightened, not gradually, but explosively. In just six minutes, its luminosity jumped by a factor of four, a flash so fast and precise that amateur telescopes across continents caught it at the exact same moment. Mars orbiters burned fuel to reposition. The deep space network abandoned ongoing missions, and the International Astronomical Union called an emergency session, the first in years. Scientists who once shared data freely suddenly went silent. Whatever was happening out there wasn't just another cometary outburst. It was something no one could explain, and it was happening right now. It began quietly, as all revolutions do. In a small town in Germany, Amateur astronomer Maria Schultz noticed something off in her data while observing 3 by Atlas through her 12-inch telescope. Her software flagged an anomaly, a sudden vertical leap in brightness, 1.4 magnitudes higher than before, sustained for six full minutes. At first she assumed it was a glitch, but when she checked her calibration stars, her equipment and even atmospheric data, everything was perfect. Within 30 minutes, Observers in New Zealand, Arizona, and Brazil began posting identical results. The light curve was impossible, not sinusoidal, not periodic, just a flat line that suddenly jumped like a heartbeat and then held steady. No comet, asteroid, or fragment had ever behaved this way. By comparison, the legendary outburst of Comet 17P Holmes in 2007 took nearly two days to brighten by a similar magnitude. What Schultz saw happened in less than 1% of that time. By midnight, the anomaly was trending worldwide, and within hours the global astronomy community was awake, staring at the same question. What could possibly cause such a clean, instantaneous burst of light? As word spread, a chain reaction swept across the globe. Forums and servers filled with overlapping screenshots, exposure logs and light curves, all matching down to the minute. Citizen science platforms went into overdrive, confirming the anomaly across four continents. It wasn't a hoax nor an equipment malfunction. By dawn in Europe, professional observatories were on alert. The PANSTARS and ATLAS survey telescopes confirmed the spike, as did robotic telescopes in Chile and Japan. Data streamed into a growing public repository, a digital relay of humanity's curiosity. But then something strange happened. The professionals took over. The Deep Space Network interrupted routine Mars telemetry rerouting its 70-meter dishes toward the coordinates of 3I Atlas. Engineers voted unanimously to override standard scheduling, sacrificing data from missions like Perseverance and Voyager to capture radar reflections from a single interstellar visitor. The decision cost them 22 hours of lost mission time, a move reserved only for life-threatening asteroid flybys. Yet this wasn't an impact threat. It was a light anomaly. And still, the world's most powerful antennas turned their gaze toward one point in the sky, as if every nation sensed that something extraordinary was unfolding above. The global coordination didn't stop there. By the following morning, the very large telescope in Chile, Gemini North in Hawaii, and even China's fast radio telescope had all dropped their planned targets, redirecting every instrument to 3I Atlas. The I'm... International Astronomical Union voted 8 to 2 in favor of a planetary scale observing campaign, a rare act of unity in a field often divided by funding and competition. For 48 hours, humanity's finest instruments watched the same object, and then silence. The same astronomers who had been posting hourly updates on social media suddenly disappeared. Private research chats went quiet. No new data appeared on preprint servers. No press statements, no leaks, nothing. Analysts tracking social media activity reported a 70% drop in communication from verified astronomers who had previously discussed the event. Something had changed behind closed doors. Even the few automated logs that trickled out painted an eerie picture, radar signals, showing a non-gravitational acceleration four times stronger than expected, an infrared plateau 30 Kelvin above normal and faint bursts of gamma radiation at 3I Atlas's exact coordinates. None of it made sense, and yet all of it was real. Within two days, the anomaly had transformed into a full-scale mystery, 
The Mars orbiters confirmed the same infrared excess, despite being millions of kilometers away. Ground-based telescopes recorded the same acceleration, and deep space antennas detected faint echoes that seemed to pulse at regular intervals. But the most haunting detail wasn't in the data. It was in the reaction. Astronomers who had spent their careers chasing comets and asteroids now refused interviews. Entire observatories were locked into silent mode, citing data verification. The IAU's internal report, leaked by an anonymous insider, described the situation as a synchronized global anomaly requiring immediate containment. No other words, no public explanation. Just a note that all assets were to maintain continuous observation until further notice. For the first time in modern history, every eye on Earth was focused on one object from another star system. An object that, in a matter of hours, had forced humanity to rewrite its definition of what's natural and what's not. Then came the discovery that changed everything. Using differential imaging from the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers noticed a secondary object, smaller, colder, and perfectly aligned with three-point I Atlas's trajectory. At first, they thought it was a fragment or a dust cloud, but over successive scans, the secondary body maintained a fixed distance of 120 kilometers and moved in precise synchronization with the primary object. It wasn't drifting, it was orbiting. The discovery sent shockwaves through the IAU's emergency channel. A natural object with a companion that close would be gravitationally unstable. Yet this pair moved flawlessly, locked together as if bound by invisible control. Even more baffling was the secondary body's spectral signature. It reflected almost no sunlight, but emitted faint microwave radiation consistent with active heat dissipation. In other words, it was regulating its temperature. By now, most astronomers had stopped using the term comet. The official designation changed quietly, from 3I Atlas C2025R2 to 3I Atlas Complex. The word complex was no mistake. It was a silent admission that the object was more than one thing and possibly more than just matter. Everything came to a head when 3I Atlas reached a position known as nodal alignment, the point where its orbital plane intersected Earth's. At that moment, every telescope, radio dish, and orbital observatory trained on it simultaneously registered a surge in intensity. The pulse frequency increased, the secondary companion brightened, and the region surrounding both objects filled with a faint halo visible even to amateur astronomers. It wasn't sunlight, it was internal luminescence, energy being released from within the structure itself. The James Webb Telescope recorded diffraction spikes consistent with geometric edges, not random debris the object was unfolding. Spectrographic analysis showed a temperature drop of 60 Kelvin, suggesting that energy was being redirected inward. And then the impossible happened. For the first time, 3I Atlas emitted a directed radio beam, focused and narrow, aimed precisely at Earth's ecliptic coordinates. The signal was brief, only 12 seconds long, but it wasn't noise. It carried structure, patterns, and harmonic symmetry far beyond any natural process. Within minutes, the transmission stopped. The light dimmed. The pulse vanished. Jai Atlas went silent once more, leaving behind one haunting question echoing across every observatory. Who was listening on the other side? For days, the world waited for an explanation. The directed beam from 3I Atlas had lasted only 12 seconds, but its echoes were still being analyzed by observatories across the planet. Then quietly, one team broke the silence, the Square Kilometre Array Observatory in Australia. Using its massive radio network, they reconstructed the full waveform of the transmission, expecting it to reveal nothing more than background radiation. Instead, what they found stunned them. The beam wasn't random. It contained a harmonic structure, built around the same 247-second pulse that had haunted astronomers for months. Embedded within that pattern, were frequency ratios identical to those found in hydrogen spectral lines, the universal constant of communication. Hydrogen is everywhere, the cosmic alphabet of existence. Whoever or whatever generated that signal had chosen the one frequency every civilization capable of science would understand. But the real shock came when the data was translated into visual form. The waveform, when converted into a spectrogram, 
revealed a repeating geometric pattern, six perfect hexagons spiraling outward around a single point of light. It was a mirror image of the James Webb Telescope's final images of the Three-Eye Atlas complex, the object and its companion locked together in formation. The transmission wasn't just a signal. It was a blueprint 